So you want to build yourself a duck hunting impoundment? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over some of the things you can do not only to build you one of these, but also to make sure it is successful. The first thing you're going to have to worry about is a water source. So you got to make sure you can flood it and not only flood it, but also be able to drain it. Here's our drain right here. As you can see, the beaver has uh, decided to replug it, trying to keep the water from getting out. So first off, you got to be able to get water into your duck pond. One of the most common ways, a lot of people have a well that they just pump out of and they pump water into their duck hole. Also, some people use like agricultural pumps that hook up to a tractor or trash pumps depending on the size of your duck pond. And then they just flood it with a creek or another pond. And then some people have like reservoirs that they just open up a valve and they let all the water out of the big pond and let it come into their smaller duck pond. And the last and my least favorite way is just wait on the rain. But now we're gonna get into how to build one of these. So when you're building a duck pond, you gotta make sure that you have a levee built all the way around. You can take soil from the, from the middle. If you have flat ground, just build it up around and make sure that's the lower part. But you gotta have a levee all the way around because you're making a pond, right? But I wouldn't recommend building anything under two acres. You get anything under two acres, it's just too small. It doesn't really, doesn't do well. It doesn't attract as many ducks. So the bigger, the better, really. This is our levee right here going around. It goes and it wraps all the way around back in there. And then here's our pond. There's a couple feet of difference from the top of the levee to where all of our planted food plot is growing for our ducks. The next thing to consider is, are you going to be hunting dabbling ducks or diving ducks? Because that's going to influence your water level or how high you want your water to be. If you're hunting like a dabbling duck, I wouldn't say put it any higher than two foot between, you know, six inches and two foot. And if you're hunting a diving duck, you can go up to probably about four feet because they obviously they're diving so they can get down there and then that influences what you need to plant in your duck hole so when it comes to crops you need to decide if you want to do actual crops or you want to do moist soil management and in moist soil management you're promoting native plants like this button bush here that make a lot of seeds the ducks will like that you don't have to plant and you kind of just lower the water level off at the end of the year slowly get it off there let those natives come back and then flood it duckweed lizard's tail, those sorts of plants. And then the other is you come in here and plant crops. And a lot of people plant corn because it's really good. It gives the ducks cover. They really like to get up in there, gives them food source. And if you didn't know, ducks love to eat macroinvertebrates. And that corn just attracts a plethora of little bugs for those ducks to eat. And some other things you can plant. You can plant sunflowers, Egyptian wheat, uh, and soybeans, ducks love those, but they don't last as long. So like a, one of my favorites we put in here, put a lot of millet, put a lot of sorghum in here because it seems to last better throughout the year and the water doesn't seem to ruin it. And, and when you're planting millet, because that's kind of the main thing we do, we do about 20 pounds per acre. And a lot of these lowland places, you don't have to fertilize that much. You can go get you a soil test done, send it into your local like agriculture university and they'll send you back a test. It's, you, it's, pretty, it's not really that expensive and you can do it that way. Your, then you can put your blind in. We have our blind kind of towards the middle of the hole because the ducks seem to come from the river and then fly into here and they land, do their thing. But you need, just need to consider, you know, you don't want to be looking into the sun, flashes you, so try and get tucked away in a dark corner, sun at your back so when the ducks are coming in, they're kind of blinded by the sun a little bit. They can't see as good as so you're tucked up in a real dark shaded area. And the most important thing you can do is to reduce pressure. Maybe only hunt this once every couple weeks or once a week and try and keep that pressure off so that way the ducks can get come in here and get comfortable and you can shoot the most amount of ducks as possible. Or at least get your limit or, you know, two, three ducks, whatever. You know, do the best that you can do. But these will work just about anywhere you do that they have ducks. If you build it, they will come. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.